I hope that this project is so much more than just the concrete infrastructure in a river. You know, it, it's going to make a big difference for this whole community. It's going to make a difference, you know, for the economy. It's going to make a dif difference for the young people. And, you know, I think, you know, it's, this is why it's going to, you know, this weir is going to be a positive change. The plan for the new weir is to relocate it and build a new weir five kilometres downstream. Um, there was a lot of consultation with the community about this new location to make sure that it was in the right place. Um, and we actually moved it a bit upstream because um, it was too close to the cemetery. The new weir is going to be raised a metre higher than the existing one and it will have gates that allow the water to flow through. Once it's filled up, it will bring life back into the community. Just to be able to hold water within the community, especially around summertime out here in this little town, is it's critical. You know, there's going to be a lot of recreational uses with it, you know, and also, I guess, our cultural connection to the river as well. The wall got to be knocked out of there and let the water run free through it. Like it was years ago, run through the rocks. So our kids can put piss traps back in. Mm -hmm. With that wall there, it's not going to work. Water New South Wales do understand how important the barker is to the community here. Like some of my best memories is about me and my pop going out hunting and fishing by the river. Well, it's, it's the lifeblood of, of the people and the township of Kenya, you know. A lot of family stuff happened on the river with um, all different families connecting together. Community engagement's been a really big part of this um, whole project. When Water New South Wales came um, in being part of this WEA project, that they not only consulted, but they really listened. The community told us really clearly that they wanted to see more training and employment as part of the project. We have worked over the last year to talk to the local Aboriginal Employment Service Ready, as well as the regional um, association Murdy Parkey Regional Assembly and TAFE New South Wales and we developed a partnership to um, offer training in construction, tourism and hospitality to roll out over the next year. We must be able to employ our local people from, from Kenya instead of bringing outsiders in um, to do this kind of work. You know, we've got a Cert 2 in construction at the moment um, that will sort of lead into, I guess, housing maintenance you know, that, that's the long-term sort of plan. Um, there might be opportunities at the end of this training, which we're hoping for. Okay, my name is Gilly. I'm a golden perch. I call it darling. Do not be like I was asked to engage with the young people in Mulcanya and share the information about the project. The school group came over to one of our sessions and they asked us about um, whether we could put some images of um, artworks on the new year. Yeah, but it's really good to get the kids now involved in doing these beautiful drawings, putting them out there, and that's for them to show their children, their children try to show their children. So it's a forever thing, yeah. So our students are gonna get a chance to showcase their voices and their culture by contributing um, a small piece of artwork to a collaborative piece that actually represents the community and the culture here in Wilcannia. There are so many ways that you can engage with community. 
and we've got to move beyond adults. We've got to tap into these young people and give them opportunity to have a voice. I guess you're going to feel great to be a part of this project and to, I don't know, to show everyone how much we care about the river and to show them that we are willing to fight and continue it on for generations to come, I guess.